I want to talk about Reginald Ben Dixon and more specifically why he was killed. Basically, it boils down to Cecilia's extreme hatred towards him. Now, as brilliant as an actress as Cecilia was through this whole ordeal with being able to convince everyone of every nonsense claim over her life and the scenarios that she had apparently been through. I mean, she was beyond foolproof. She was, you could say, an Oscar winner with the way she portrayed everything. But when it came to Reginald Ben Dixon, Cecilia, in all honesty, could not hide the fact that she hated him. Even, even though she honestly tried and desperately tried, but it was as clear as day. In the beginning, when I met Cecilia, um, I had heard of Reginald Ben Dixon quite a number of times because he was Rhea, uh, he was Rhea's mentor. He was her friend. She looked up to him for guidance and for support, uh, for so many things like that. And especially when it came to extreme cases, I suppose, <laughs> uh, like Cecilia, you know, with the scenarios that she portrayed with supposedly coming out of the occult and the supposed occult attacks, Rhea was fairly lost with knowing what to do um, and what to expect. So she often turned to Reginald for things regarding Cecilia, but she also spoke to him about other things as well with regards to ministry. And in the beginning, when Reginald's name first started being mentioned, it was already as clear as day with Cecilia that she did not like him. Cecilia would try, basically, to smile, to just listen casually to whatever Rhea would relate with any of her conversations regarding Reginald. But with the fake smile that Cecilia had, it was still extremely clear that she did not like him at all. She had an extremely strong dislike towards him from the start. And because Rhea would so often turn to Reginald for advice and more information and so on, he basically became a person that Cecilia was extremely suspicious of. She was extremely wary of him um, because she never knew what he was going to say. I mean, after all, everything that she had told everyone was a lie, so an outsider would and could pose as a threat because they basically weren't there for her to fool with any of her dramatic and extreme evidence. And she wasn't there to basically analyze them as a person, to suss them out and to see if she could fool them. This was a, an outside influence who could then basically help Rhea see the truth. And then that would lead everything to come tumbling down for Cecilia. And with Rhea, that would be a huge problem because especially in the beginning uh, or the beginning stages with Rhea, Cecilia used Rhea to recruit more people into her group. And Rhea was never aware of any of this. But because Rhea ran the Know Your Enemy classes and she knew so many people, Ce uh, Cecilia basically used her as a means in order to gain new people for whatever she needed them for. I mean, if someone specialized in a field or could do a certain thing that she would basically need later on for something, she would then recruit that person or she would then use that person in her group. That's how she would pretty much select the members in her group. Everyone had a purpose, even though no one knew at the beginning stages what their purpose was. I mean, everyone was there just to be friends and just to look after this person who was supposedly escaping from the occult. But on Cecilia's side, she was keeping them there in case she ever needed someone for something. And with Rhea specifically, because Rhea knew so many people, um, especially with the types of people that Rhea would meet in the, her ministry, Cecilia would then be able to bring more people into her group and at the very least, more people just to fool. Um, so if she lost Rhea, 
uh, if Rhea saw the truth and she escaped, Cecilia would you Cecilia would lose her main avenue for bringing people into her group, and that was a huge problem for her. And as the months went by with Cecilia and Reginald's name continuously being brought up by Rhea and the continuous discussions she would have with Reginald, this just made Cecilia excessively paranoid and her her dislike of him from the very beginning started turning into hatred and this hatred very rapidly grew because basically Reginald saw the truth behind Cecilia's lies and he tried to warn Rhea and in the beginning with Reginald doing this Rhea didn't take anything he said to heart he didn't uh, she didn't she didn't believe him because she was already so fooled with the nonsense that Cecilia was portraying so I guess maybe in Rhea's own mindset she figured that you know if Reginald had seen firsthand the scenarios with Cecilia then he would believe because to any outsider it does sound like a very fabricated nonsense movie like story but if you were in the the group it was your everyday life it was your reality this was all very real and basically as Cecilia's hatred towards Reginald grew and her suspicion as well uh, there were several occasions where it was my turn to look after Cecilia during the week and on several occasions Rhea had left her laptop at Cecilia's flat and she had gone to a meeting or wherever she had gone and Cecilia would proceed to go through Rhea's laptop to see if she could find anything that would basically be a link or an avenue into exposing the lies. Cecilia basically wanted to see if there was anything to sincerely be worried about on her part and um, if anything was a threat. I mean, I still recall the one day when Cecilia was going through Rhea's emails and she said to me, you know, that her emails are so boring. There is, it's just work. There is nothing more to it. And I never really paid much interest in whatever Cecilia was doing on Rhea's laptop. But I know Cecilia specifically was searching for anything and everything between Reginald and Rhea. She wanted to see what discussions were going on without her knowing about it. As far as I know, there wasn't anything in the emails basically to uh, be alarming for Cecilia uh, to start worrying about you know, Rhea leaving for Rhea finding out the truth. But that didn't stop her suspicion and her hatred growing towards Reginald. I mean, it very, very quickly escalated to Cecilia mocking Rhea every time she had spoken to Reginald or she had seen him. And the interesting twist is, uh, during the trial, Cecilia tried to spin the story that she and Rhea had a lover spat, and that's why Rhea testified against her. But back when uh, this specific scenario presented itself with Reginald, Cecilia would mock Rhea, saying that you know she was in love with Reginald. It, her hatred towards him stooped to ridiculous levels. And every time Cecilia would say something like this, Rhea would just laugh it off as complete nonsense. Because he was her mentor. He would give her so much guidance and help when she was lost. He was just a friend. And throughout the months that followed, there was one particular statement that Cecilia would continuously and overly use when it came to Reginald. Uh, it would be even in front of Rhea. She would keep saying statements and statements that would end with basically using the words, you're precious Reggie. But she would say it in such a way that it was evil and sarcastic at the same time. Uh, I might even go as far as to say jealous and sarcastic, suspicious and sarcastic. In any way that she used the words, your precious Reggie, at the end of any statement, it was never a good thing. And the more she said it, the worse those statements sounded.
and the worse they became. Cecilia's hatred towards him grew so fast it was actually ridiculous and the more that the time went on, the more it was harder for Cecilia to hide her hatred towards him. Uh, to even the point where I don't even know if she tried to hide her hatred towards Reginald because she was completely incapable of doing so. It was as clear as day. She hated him. That was That was it. But during the time period that I was still friends with Cecilia, there was no idea or notion of Cecilia actually wanting to do anything about Reginald, except for creating a divide between Reginald and Rhea, so that he could not potentially expose Cecilia's nonsense and pull Rhea out of Cecilia's group with the truth. And I can only imagine after... The time period where I had left uh, Cecilia and after I had met with Rhea and after Rhea had finally realized the full truth and wanted to escape, I think, as, and as far as I know, she voiced and would have voiced this to Reginald. She needed to escape. She knew the truth. But there was no way in which she could do so because there was no place for her to run and hide and... Cecilia had her completely trapped. So Rhea had to continuously go under this guise of pretending to still believe Cecilia's nonsense. But that didn't stop Cecilia's suspicion and her hatred towards Reginald. Although I think there was probably more and more certainty on Cecilia's side for knowing that Rhea wanted to leave. Because uh, in 2012, one after the other members of Rhea's ministry team were being killed. I don't know if all of those people that were killed wanted to expose Cecilia, but I know Reginald was. He was at least trying to expose Cecilia to Rhea. But at the very least, those other members that were killed were basically a revenge towards Rhea or a threat towards Rhea to get her to stay in line with Cecilia and everything she wanted to do. She needed Rhea to stay put and to continue with whatever Cecilia wanted her to do. Otherwise, she would carry on killing more people, if not Rhea herself. And after these murders from Rhea's ministry team, Rhea's desperation for leaving, for escaping, became even more extreme. Um, I mean, Rhea was even receiving threats, death threats, uh, on her own life. She needed to escape. But Cecilia would not have it. She would go to any extreme to make sure Rhea stayed in the group and under her control. Even to the point of finally killing Reginald Ben Dixon himself. And the thing that I found surprising is that since 2012, since Reginald was killed, he was the one uh, in, he wasn't quite in Rhea's ministry team, but he was still in the ministry. So with the members that were killed from the ministry, as far as I know, his murder was the most gruesome of the lot. And since 2012, the investigators had not found any piece of evidence linking up to any suspects they had absolutely no idea who could have killed him which was extremely surprising to me because it was such a gruesome murder and one thought posed in my mind very strongly is if someone is capable of killing another person especially in such a gruesome manner and still not leaving one ounce of evidence then this person must basically be professional, uh, for a lack of a better word. They must have killed quite a few people in order to know how to hide any piece of evidence. And that makes me wonder exactly how many murders Cecilia had committed or at least orchestrated in her entire lifetime, never mind just the ones that I personally know of. And the sad thing is, in all these years that... The investigators couldn't find any evidence uh, for Reginald's murder. 
the evidence was actually right there in front of them the whole time. It was right there since day one. But that piece of evidence would not be obvious to anybody except for anyone who had have heard of or had or had have known of Cecilia's specific statements and specific words that she would use. I mean, I remember when the murders were first announced in the media and when they spoke of Reginald's murder, uh, describing how a piece of an animal was taken and delivered into a box basically trying to look as if it was a piece of Reginald's body with a note saying, here's a piece of your precious Reggie. I know that in different media outlets, those words are slightly different, but the very first one that I had seen used the words, your precious Reggie. And even in back in 2012, my mind had never grasped the full concept that Cecilia had ever murdered anybody in her life or orchestrated murders. But as soon as I had read those words, I knew without a doubt that it was her. There, there was no room for doubt. I had heard those words too many times that it was embedded in my mind to the, the point basically of still being able to hear the way she would say it. But because the investigators had obviously never heard Cecilia make those statements, that piece of evidence was very easy to slip by them. But Rhea would have known exactly who it was. And obviously I did too. And then when the investigation started many years later, in one of the meetings with the state advocates and the investigators, Reginald's murder came into the topic and I was honestly surprised. I mean, hearing that they still have no evidence after all these years. And I just looked at them blankly. I think I was just honestly dumbstruck. I mean, it was so many years and it was such a gruesome murder. And I plainly said to them, I know exactly who did it. I will honestly never forget the look on their faces they were shocked to say the least I mean investigators had spent years trying to figure out who had murdered him and here I just say I know exactly who did it and I said it so simply and so confidently but I had no doubt in my mind because of those words and when I explained to them uh, those words that Cecilia used it made complete sense to them. Um, that was literally the main link to Reginald's murder. It was the main thing missing in order to tie up that Cecilia and her group had murdered Reginald Ben Dixon. And in all honesty, even though I knew without a doubt that Reginald died because of Cecilia, because she orchestrated his murder, I was completely shocked that Mirinda confessed to it on the stand and so blatantly and so bluntly states that she enjoyed killing him. Uh, I don't know if I was shocked because I was actually right because of those few simple words or also because of, or probably more so because this person that I had met so long ago confessed to actually enjoying killing somebody else and so confidently and so proudly. But the other thing that struck me is that Mirinda seemed to have a hatred towards Reginald as well. And as far as I know, she had never met Reginald. She had only heard of him because of Cecilia and Rhea. So it basically makes me wonder how extreme Cecilia's hatred was towards Reginald up until just before he was murdered. I mean, by the time I had left, her hatred was, it, it was beyond extreme. She could not hide it, no matter how brilliant of an actress she was for absolutely everything else in her life. This was one thing that she could not hide. But now for someone else to also hate Reginald to 
a very extensive degree. I mean, extensive enough to actually enjoy killing him. It makes me wonder exactly how much Cecilia ended up hating him after all these years. But this is why he was killed. There was nothing else to it. Reginald Bendixson was killed because Cecilia hated him to an in immeasurable degree. Because he wanted to expose her to at least just Rhea. To basically set Rhea free from all of this nonsense. I mean, Reginald was just speaking the truth. He was just helping. He was just being a good person. And because Cecilia saw him as a threat, because she hated him so much, for, for exposing her nonsense, for her lies, that ultimately cost him his life.